Good morning, my beautiful Hershey Kisses. Today is February 5th, and we're going to focus on four powerful words. Our scripture for today is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. One way the devil may try to keep you trapped in pain in your soul is by making you think you are missing out on something good you could have enjoyed had you not suffered the way you did. He may try to convince you that your life was destined to be wonderful before those painful events took place. But now that you have been wounded, it will not be as good as it might have been. This is what the devil may try to keep you trapped in your thinking. This scheme of the enemy usually starts with two words, just two words, if only. I had to learn to resist thinking and saying if only statements even after I became a Christian. I wasted a lot of time thinking things are better for me now, but they would be even greater if only I had not been abused. I would not have some of the problems I have now if only I had a normal childhood with parents who loved me properly. You may be thinking similar thoughts, which could include, if only my loved one had not gotten sick and passed away, I would be happy. Or it could be so much easier for me to enter into new relationships if only so-and-so had not betrayed my trust and abandoned me. Maybe even as you are reading this, you can identify an if-only thought specific to your situation or remember a time when you said, if only, if only, if only. Yes, I think we've all been in that situation. If only brings up negative thoughts and emotions and leads to negative confessions, I want to suggest an alternative. Instead of, if only, what if you were to think and speak the two positive words, but God? Think for a moment about how that would change the way you see yourself and the way you view your life. I encourage you today to find a but God statement to think about and speak. It could be, I had a very painful childhood, but God is healing me completely and restoring my soul. Or, I spent many years frightened, worried, and anxious, but God has given me peace, power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. It might also be something like, because of my past, I have never been able to look forward to the future, but God says he has good plans for me and he gives me hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. Proverbs 18, 21 teaches us that the tongue is very powerful. What we say can lead to life or death. And all of our words begin with our thoughts. I encourage you to watch out for negative thoughts and statements that include, if only, and to think and say instead positive confessions that include, but God. When you focus your thoughts and words on what God can do, his power will flow in your life it will flow unprecedented, unprecedented. It will flow in unprecedented ways. So for today, I would like for you to declare this. I do not think or say, if only, I think and say, but God. Oh, yes, that is awesome. And now for your power thought for this morning. I make right choice. 
February 5th. February 5th. Fight the good fight. Resist the devil. Stand firm against him, and he will flee from you. James 4, 7. We can't just hope we will think good thoughts. We have to actively seek them. We have to think purposely, not passively. A passive mind is a dangerous thing. Passive people want good things to happen to them, but they just wait around to see what will happen. They do nothing to contribute to a positive result in their lives. The devil wants us to be passive because then he can work his plan without any opposition from us. But the Bible tells us to resist the devil and he will flee. Be an active person who is always working with God toward the result that you desire to see in your life. Power thought. I actively resist the devil as I fight the good fight of faith. So we see here that as long as we resist the devil and the devil's temptation, he will flee from us. Usually he'll throw something at you three times. It comes in threes. Like something bad will happen today and then something else maybe next week and then maybe a month later something else is usually three times. And then when you resist that temptation or you don't fall into that trap, that's when the devil will flee from you. And of course, he's going to seek another convenient time when he think you're at your weakest. That's why it's so important for you to stay prayed up and to stay strong. Now for your three questions. How well do you really know your Bible? What boy learned about God from his mother and his grandmother? Oh, I can't give you the scripture to look up because that will give you the answer. Your second question. Name one of the five books of poetry in the Bible. I can't give you that either because then that would be giving you <laughs> the answer. All right, my darling, your next question. Into whose bag of grain did Joseph put a silver cup? Genesis chapter 44, verse 12. And I will give you another um, question. Who wrote the book of Acts? And you can find that in Acts chapter 1. So there you have it, my beautiful Hershey Kisses. I want you to have a great day. It's Monday, the beginning of the week, which is awesome because we made it yet another day and we got to see another day of life. So that's a beautiful thing. And as long as we know how much Jehovah God and Jesus Christ loves us. We should be okay. And that should contribute to us having an amazing day. And also keep in mind how much Sheila True Love truly, truly loves you.